How? How? How now, brown cow? Uh, this is the how portion. And I just want to give you a heads up on this because um, so far I've been naming these things Survival, the Edisee, Part 1, 2, 3, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> well, that part thing is becoming tedious at best. And uh, I figure I'll leave this one as, I think it's Part 7. Six or seven, seven, I think. I think I'll leave this one as part because I'm doing the the who, what, when, where, why, how thing. But after that, uh, it'll be just be survival, comma, the Edisee, and some subtitle. You know, what whatever is going on that day. Um, it's just pa pain in the ass trying to remember. Is this part what when I go to upload these to YouTube? And right now things are pretty calm because I'm still living like a, a relatively uh, normal life um, run-of-the-mill kind of stuff working going home so like that. I'm not on the road yet I'm not freaking out well I'm always freaking out but I mean I'm not like freaking out because I have no food no place to stay uh, weird shit happening so you know when it gets to that I don't want to have to concern myself with part what 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 you know at any rate uh, the how the vehicle I own at the moment is a 2002 Chrysler Town & Country minivan. It's an EL, which I guess means it can burn E85 fuel, which probably is not going to ever happen. Uh, it's in pretty good shape. It's not a beater. It's got 165,000 miles on it. It had some minor mechanical things that had to be done, and it's got a couple other things I'd like to get and taken care of before I leave, simply because number one the job I work at I get car parts really cheap and number two with the job I have I've built some relationships with some of my customers and they some of these guys do work for like real real good prices so rather than spend five six hundred dollars on the road which I may not even have at the point why not spend about two hundred now um, I don't know if you can see in the back of the van here, but the two way back seats, way back, they are gone because I sold them to yet another one of my customers for 50 bucks. I figured get rid of them. I got the other two seats right behind me and the passenger seat that um, I'm thinking of, I'm, I'm going to at least get rid of one. I may get rid of both of them because if I'm going to use this thing to possibly sleep in, to live in, whatever, it's going to be nice to have that extra room. Uh, one of the things that I bought for this thing was um, a trailer hitch. I'm not going to be hauling a trailer, but I got um, a bike rack, and I can carry my bicycle on that because as it sits now, the plan is use this vehicle until it come, becomes in the way, and then I pair down to the bike, and then when that's too much, pair down, you know, that's just... This is all penciled in in my head. Uh, hey, the bike's name is Rosie, as some of you on Facebook already know. If anybody has an idea for the name of the van, it's a white van. <coughs> white Shadow, no, no, no. La Bamba, no. Every vehicle I ever owned, I named La Bamba. Uh, if you got a, a name, throw it out there. Maybe I'll name her this. Um, while I'm out on the road, uh, places to stay. Obviously, if I find a remote place where I can park the van and crash that's good um, years ago I remember reading that Walmart had this uh, understanding with people who had motorhomes that they could stay there not extended stays like a week at a time or anything but you know a day here a day there a couple days you know because they knew that people were, these people were gonna go in and buy their products while uh, they were staying there so this is just simply a smaller mobile home so I can I can play on that a little bit. Um, as far as work, I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember a TV series from the late 60s, early 70s called Then Came Bronson. It was a guy who had a decent job and just said the hell with it, and he got on a motorcycle and he took off around the country. The, the guy always was able to find some kind of work somewhere, you know. It was cash money work. That's not the way it is anymore because before a place hires you, they want to do you know the obligatory uh, you know drug test, which isn't a problem, you know. But they want to do a background check again; that's not a problem. They want you to 
do the two or three interviews and yada 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 well if you're out on the road and you have absolutely no money and you need food you need yes I smoke cigarettes and you need gas for your vehicle you know you're gonna to have to make cash as quick as possible uh, when I was a kid hitchhiked across the country there's a couple times I made cash or got room for the night just for doing some work so maybe maybe some of those people are still out there maybe that can happen um, one possibility also is that either via my cell phone or my laptop which I'll have I just pull up to a McDonald's or a Starbucks and they have Wi-Fi that I can use for nothing I can go out on Craigslist and possibly find some kind of uh, cash gig or you know doing some things I, I had a an opportunity to do a cash gig for somebody just yard work down here a little over a year ago and what happened what well actually it wasn't over a year ago it was about a year ago because what happened is I couldn't do that work because I, I wound up getting the job that I have now so I mean stuff like that is out there um, another place that uh, I could probably stay maybe when I was a kid we went across country and there was a time when my parents were kinda of concerned about where do we stay even though we were in a camper we just stayed out behind a police station you know, I know the world's different and maybe that's not gonna pan out now but that's a possibility um, churches uh, that's a possibility staying there although that could be kind of odd considering I'm an atheist you know if somebody asked me how my walk with Christ is going I'd I, I cannot sit there and lie to people, religious or not. I can't lie. I just have to tell them, well, actually, uh, that could kind of screw up things. But, hey, who knows? Maybe they'll keep me on longer thinking, we can convert this guy. He sounds like he might be. No, I won't I won't play that game. Not unless I really, really have to. Um, car insurance. Before I leave, uh, there's a couple really dirt, dirt cheap places around here to get insurance, but I gotta tell you, but when I was back up in Illinois, I paid about $50 a month for the basic basic up here, or down here, it's roughly twice that, a little bit more than twice that for the basic basic, so I'll have to find a place that's really cheap, and if I can swing it, I'll do like a six month thing just pay six months and then six months from now I have to figure out what's going on who knows in six months everything could be different I don't know um, the hunting and fishing my brother is like me in that he plays devil's advocate a lot and he said what you might want to have to think about is you can always have to have a fishing license wherever you go maybe even a hunting license depending on what you're doing to get food because you get caught you're in trouble true that's true um, he also stated and this is really important that if just say for example I was out on some federal land somewhere didn't realize exactly where I was and I killed a, a raccoon and decided I was gonna cook that up and eat it and a game warden cruise has passed well I broke a law on federal land pretty much anything you do at that point becomes a federal offense so that's a totally different thing I don't want to wind up in jail just because I'm trying to survive um, I have some upcoming vid videos um, I, I'm gonna I kept saying how I'm gonna do one of all the, the equipment I have and including you know pictures videos what have you of the van um, I will I'm going to have to try to figure out how to like put stills in and have like a voiceover. I'm not really sure how to do that, but I'll figure that out, I guess. If not, we'll, we'll figure something out. But uh, that is coming up later this weekend. This is Saturday, by the way, May 4th. Um, oh, when I was mentioning the Part 1, Part 2, Part 3 thing, I've set, I've set my YouTube up so that it's reverse chronological order, so you can go by the dates to figure out um, when these videos were done because it could be a little haphazard lately or later um, I have an upcoming trip to Illinois I'm gonna see my son Danny Danny congratulations he's gonna graduate from high school uh, I'm gonna see my other two sons Mike and Matt I'm going to also see Lauren and hang out with her she's the one that kinda gave me the push 
She's giving me a push a couple times, and not off a cliff, by the way, which is always good. So you know that's a real friend. Um, so I'm pretty excited about seeing all those guys. Uh, after I come back down here and do a couple more months at work and, and go according to the plan, I'm going to head back up there for a period of time. What I'd really like all you guys to do, if you could, is uh, subscribe, like this video, share it on Facebook. I don't have a Twitter account. I'm probably not going to do Twitter. It just seems to be something that I'm not going to want to deal with yet. Um, let as many people know that I'm here and I'm going to do something. Oh, Three Wheel Journey. There's a guy on YouTube who calls himself Three Wheel Journey. That dude is my freaking hero when it comes to bicycling. He He's part of the reason that I decided to do some of this, although Demcad and Storm Clouds Gathering and a few other people, they, they were the impetus as well. But Dave, Three Wheel Journey, Dave, he started, um, it was in late spring, I guess, of 2011. He started up somewhere in the Seattle area. I, I'm, it's my assumption of where he lives, somewhere up there. Went all the way down the coast, across the desert. Yes, right, across the desert. That takes balls and a lot of water. Um, across the country, he was down, he went down to the Keys and back up to like Pennsylvania, Allegheny Pass, that kind of thing, all the way across the country again and back home. It was 12,000 miles in 13 months. That's just bloody amazing. He, If you go to Three Wheel Journey, all one word, uh, his YouTube, you can watch those videos, but there's probably also a link. I think he has a Facebook page. I know he's doing Twitter, but he is going to do yet another trip, and I think from what I read, I could be wrong, that this one's going to be like a two- or three-year deal, so if you don't see anything coming from me, you'll have him to watch. I mean, I watched his videos like it was a TV show. I even opened up Google Maps, and when I would see where he was, I would look on the map to see where where he was. It was just so cool. Um, I just want to share one other thing. I uh, Hang on one second here. I have another video that I want to do, kind of talking about some of the emotions of all this stuff, because you got to be kind of whacked out to uh, just disappear like I'm going to be doing. I mean, some people are going to see me that know me in the beginning, and then after that you're only going to see me on here. Um, my mom and my stepdad need my help here, and I've done a lot for them. But two years ago before I was here, they were doing okay, you know, and I, I feel a little bit concerned about their you know leaving them here and just taking off there's gonna be some guilt there like I could have done something but I, I don't know you know that's um, I had some emotional stuff happen in the last few days it's, it's stuff that you know I've, I've been dealing with on and off again for a long time nothing to be concerned about you know um, but it's just shit that it is what it is you know until it's something else and then it's that but It'll be okay. Everything is cool. Like the song says, you can't always get what you want. But if you try sometime, you just might find you get what you need. Not a big Stones fan, but I like that. So anyway, subscribe. 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 Like. 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 And share. And I want to I want to be a movie star on your screen. So anyway, if uh, I'm getting dizzy, are you? Okay. Anyway, that should be it for this video. Uh, I'll keep doing more. Um, probably tomorrow I'll start on the the one I'm going to call it the goods. It's all the stuff I'm, I have, you know, books, uh, weapons, uh, materials I have, and some thoughts and some other things that I'm going to get. But um, that is tomorrow. That is not today. Have a really good today, and I hope you have a good tomorrow. I love you guys. Adios.